Hello everyone, it is time after all the long wait that you have all been waiting for for like over a month. The time is now. Uh, we are reviewing the blob and oh my god, he can't even fit on the screen. I have to move back. But here he is, the blob. Now, before I get into this, this took about four days to make entirely. Four days and about three bags of stuffing and multiple sheets of fabric so a lot of time and effort was put into this guy so let's get right into reviewing him and first we're gonna give a size reference first with a jumbo here's jumbo lefty and here's the blob both about the same height equally in height so by proxy he is three times bigger than a normal FNAF plush. So we're gonna put Glamrock Freddy right there. That's how big the blob is. So let's get these two out of the way and actually review this guy in depth. You, you guys can already see an overall look, but I'm gonna start off with the head. Now the head is just a Freddy pattern head, but with the colors of Funtime Freddy with a little plastic nose, some black, um, some black eyes with some red uh, pupils, a black hat, just like a normal Funtime Freddy, but I got a Sharpie and kind of just dirtied it up a bit to make it look dirty. Now, we move on to the body, and you can just see that the body is a big lump, like a big blob. <laughs> so, what I did was I made this shape, the body shape, I made that into a pattern and then sewed two of those together, which gave me this nice overall big lumpy shape. Then, for the neck, what I did was just put two little strands of this gray material for like some wires and the neck can move very nicely. It can move up and down, side to side. So yeah, it's very articulate. Now, the bottom is just a sheet of this gray fabric, very uh, floppy, but I like it that way. It look, makes it look more uh, tentacly. Um, and when it moves, it kind of like drags it with it. So it's like a sheet of gray with some Sharpie and the body has some Sharpie on it for the nice wire effects uh, going all around. Now we're gonna start off with the smaller details such as this little arm right here that I got from a baby plush. I had an extra baby arm, so I just slapped that on there. An extra entered leg that is also right here. And an extra, two, an extra, two extra enter arms that go right here. So, now that we're right here, we're going to review the endo. He's just a flat piece of fabric um, glued onto the body of the blob with these two little squares or rectangles to show like his mouth. He has a black eye with red pupils and some wires coming out of his face. Then we move on to Chica, <laughs> kind of derpy looking. But um, what I did was basically just do a normal Chica pattern, but I cut it in half. I didn't do all of it. I just made half of the body and half of uh, that part. So it kind of looks like it's engraved into the blob. So she has some wires coming out of her mouth, her arms and neck. Very nice. I also dirty her up a bit. Also, I have her little feathers right here just to make it look more like Chica. Then over here on the, on the left side, we have Bonnie, a little Bonnie, tiny, tiny Bonnie. His head is pretty small compared to a normal Funko head, um, but yeah. He has his half cut ear, his other ear, and some wires coming a lot out of his eye uh, from the back of his head and from the top of his head. He does have a little plastic nose that I got from Amazon. Um, and that's it, he's just navy blue and yeah. Then we move on to Mangle, um, the earliest one I did. I just finished this one today. She is a gray head with some pink, uh, with a pink secondary color. Her eyes are just black and red like all the others, except for the puppet. And now the puppet is just the puppet mask, but I made it gray this time. No tear marks, cause that's how the actual character of the blob has. He doesn't have any tear marks. Um, His red rosy cheeks, some wires coming out of his mouth and from the bottom of his face, and his black eyes, signifying that the spirit of uh, Charlie is no longer there. Up here is another entered arm, and all the way up here, is baby uh also signifying that she uh the spirit of elizabeth afton isn't here 
uh, her eyes are also black. So what I did was got a baby pattern, uh, like the face of a baby pattern, just glued that on there, did this, her hair part, and then her two pigtails. One obviously cut off like the actual character uh, on the blob. But yeah, I think it looks very nice. She kind of looks a little derpy, but I like it. It does it does the job well done. And her little uh, red uh, pigtail. And then that is it for the blob. A five minute long video, kind of a long one, but this has been in the works for about maybe uh, like a week or two since I had to make the pattern and the head and everything. It took me quite a while, but I hope you guys did enjoy this awesome custom review. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe. Uh, there's more videos like this on the channel for those newcomers here. I did show this on Sly's stream because me and him were streaming the other day or yesterday. But uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one and goodbye.